Hi there, my name is Steve. I have been selling with Amazon FBA for over two years now. I really believe in the idea of passive income and living life on your own terms. In this video, we are going to go over Google Trends and when you find a product, how to uh, confirm if the product is not seasonal and it sells well uh, all year long. This is very important. And if you stay until the end of this video, I am going to give you a bonus tip that is really going to scale your Amazon FBA business and make you very successful. You definitely do not want to miss out on this information. So if you are ready, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Digital Life Mastery. Digital Life Mastery is an Amazon FBA course that will teach you how to build a profitable and successful Amazon FBA business from scratch. The link is on the bottom of this video. You can go ahead and check it out. Again, I do want to remind you that I have a bonus tip that I'm going to share with you at the end of this video. If you are really committed to becoming a successful Amazon FBA seller, you definitely do not want to miss out on this information. And if you end up liking this video, I would really appreciate a big thumbs up and a subscription. This YouTube channel is all about Amazon FBA and that is the content that I share on this YouTube channel. So let's go over Google Trends and I'm going to explain to you everything so you can know what Google Trends is and also uh, for you to know uh, if a product is seasonal or not and if it sells well 365 days out of the year. Now let's say we were doing product research and the product that we have found is grill mats. Let's go ahead and type that in. So let's type in a uh, grill mats, click on a search and uh, Google Trends is going to pop up uh, basically uh, what people are searching on the web search. You can also go ahead and do YouTube search because uh, Google, because um, uh, YouTube belongs to Google, Google Shopping and uh, news search and image searches as well. So let's keep it on their web search. I never touched this. Uh, the product is under uh, United States. If you are going to sell in the United Kingdom on Amazon, then you want to go ahead and put United Kingdom over here. So United Kingdom uh, will pop up if you do that. But uh, let's keep it under United States. And now when you go ahead and find a product, if you let's say, a, let's say the product you have found is grill mats and you go ahead and type in grill mats for home because you think that is what keyword, what people search in and it does not open, you want to go ahead and uh, try other keywords. So uh, grill mats opens, uh, which means that um, this is the main keyword people search on Amazon. So we get results uh, based on this keyword right over here. You want to go ahead and leave it under all categories. You can go ahead and uh, get more specific, but let's leave it under all categories. I do not touch this over here. Uh, for the past 12 months, uh, you want to go ahead and always look at the past 12 months and the past five years. Nothing below 12 months and uh, nothing more than five years. From past 12 months uh, to uh, five years is a great time to look at. The first thing that I like to do is I like to look at the past five years and I like to get an idea in my head to uh, and paint an image to see if this product is seasonal or not. And the way I come to this conclusion is I first uh, look and see if there's any searches. So as you can see, there is a lot of searches. Uh, as you can see, 11% uh, of people searched uh, for grill mats around uh, this uh, time, February 28th to March 5th. Uh, and the search has gone up from April to July. And as you can see, after uh, July, the searches go down, there's less searches, and then it goes up from April to July and then searches go down and it goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up. So as I can see from what I can see, there's a big up and big down. This is definitely no, no for me. It is a seasonal product and I would most definitely avoid this product right here because it is seasonal and I definitely do not want to sell a product like this uh, because I don't want to invest into money. And let's say I invest into the money, the product arrives in January, my product is going to sit still. And uh, until it's April to July, then, then what is going to start picking up 
then one is going to start getting uh, sales. So I most definitely will not do this product right over here. Now, if you are probably wondering what this is over here, this is the interest by subregion where people uh, go ahead and uh, type in uh, what region, so Arcasas. If you're gonna do Facebook advertising or affiliate marketing, this is one it will come in handy. Uh, the related topics and uh, what other uh, related uh, topics to grill mass there is uh, the related queries also what uh, related queries there is for grill mass i don't really pay attention to this stuff when it comes to looking for seasonality for amazon you can also go ahead and compare the product which i don't do as well i only keep it on the grill mats so this is, this is the only thing that i pay attention to the the, the country it's in and the, the past 12 months the past five years we can also go to the past 12 months, but I will not do it just because this product is seasonal from what I can see. I most definitely do not want to do this product. Again, when there's a big up and a big down uh, on Google Trends, you most definitely do not want to do that product. Let's also look for another product. Let's do fireworks and let's see if this product is seasonal or not. You probably guessed that it is seasonal because if you live in the United States, this product is most definitely getting sold around the July time. As you can see around uh, June to July, June, uh, late June to July again as well. And there is no uh, percentage of people searching for this product. So this product is definitely a, a seasonal uh, product. The only time it will sell well is during the July time. So I would not recommend that you do this product. Again, I do want to remind you that I have a complete Amazon FBA course that will cover from A to Z how to build a profitable and successful Amazon FBA business. The link is on the bottom of this video. You can go ahead and check it out. Now, uh, this product is also seasonal as well. Uh, if you go back to the past 12 months, you will definitely see only one spike up during the July time and the rest of the year it's dead. So definitely this is a product that is a no-no for me. I would not do this product. Now let's look at some products that are not seasonal, that do not have those big spikes ups and big spikes down. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do uh, garlic press. So let's go ahead and type that in. Garlic press and uh, so as you can see we're in the past 12 months from what I can see. The minimum is 44% of people are searching for this product and all year long there's a lot of searches. I don't see a stale graph like down here below 25%. It's in the mid 50% of people searching for this product. So this is definitely a good product to do. Let's go back to the past five years and let's look and see if there is a lot of searches for this product. As you can see, uh, throughout the whole five years, a lot of people are still searching for this product. This product is definitely not a seasonal product. It is selling well uh, every year, all year long, past five years. You can see there is a consistent, if you go ahead and draw a line over here, this line over here, there is a consistent uh, consistent uh, search for this product throughout the whole seasons, throughout the whole four seasons. And uh, this product may have minor ups and minor downs, for example, right here, minor drop and then minor up and then minor drop, but it doesn't have one of those big ups and big downs. So definitely this is a product uh, that you can go ahead and do. So uh, talking about that line, Let's go ahead and let's go back to the grill mats once again. So it's set back to the past five years. If you go ahead and you draw draw a line, um, uh, you know, over here, you will see that, you know, 50%, you will see that like it's a seasonal product. But uh, if you go ahead and uh, draw a mat, uh, a line uh, on the garlic press, you will know that this product is not as, as uh, seasonal and there's consistent searches for this product. So this is why garlic press is a good product to do. Uh, so definitely if you were to, you know, I would recommend you to do this product because it is very competitive, too oversaturated. Let's also type in a yoga mats and let's see if this product is seasonal or not. So it's set back to the past five years. Again, if you draw a line, you can see there is consistent searches. There is this big up over here, but again, it resumes back to these consistent searches over here. 33% of people are searching for this product on Google Trends. So this is definitely a good product that you can go ahead and do. Let's go back to the past 12 months and uh, let's also confirm. As you can see, um, this is what we saw in the past five years, that big up, and then it resumed uh, back uh, to uh, 30%. So there is consistent searches for yoga mats as well. So this product is selling well all year long. 
a yoga mats is an indoor product uh, for example during winter time people are gonna buy it and do it indoors no one is crazy enough to go outside when it's uh, raining and snowing to do yoga outside uh, that is uh, that is really crazy so don't do that but as you can see this product is a great product to go ahead and do now since you have stuck until the end of this video uh, i want to give you this bonus tip that i promised you and uh, i want to say congratulations you are definitely on your way to becoming a, a successful amazon fba seller and uh, making passive income from your computer and living life on your own terms so i'm very proud of you now for the bonus tip what i also use is the helium 10 uh, chrome extension uh, which is right right over here i do have a link on the bottom of this video on the resources you can go ahead and uh, download the helium 10 chrome extension now once you go ahead and download the helium 10 chrome extension this one right over here and you go on to your competitors listings you scroll down a little bit and this will pop up right over here this is the helium 10 chrome extension graph you want to check and see if the product has been selling for at least one year uh, this product has been selling for at least one year right now we're in 2020 of november let's go to all time and this product has been selling for five years and then you want to also go ahead and check the seasonality you want to see if there is uh, this product is selling well if it has a consistent low sales rank as you can see right over here the sales rank has gone up um, around june but this is the beginning of uh, the launch phase so as you can see it has like gone up and the highest uh, sales rank has been is 5000 and to be honest as uh, the 5905 sales rank for this product is still really good they are still making a great income uh, so uh, if you start selling on Amazon, you will get the hang of the sales rank. That's how uh, all of these so feature softwares determine the 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 income of the product, like the the Helium, the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. That's how you can determine the income uh, of a product based on the sales rank. So as you can see, it's it's you know it has it, it has had those ups and downs, and right over here is where it's been consistently down since 2018. As you can see, it's been two years now um, that it's been really low, uh, consistently low for two years. Uh, over here, it's not been that high, but then it, you know, it just, you know, it just went low, and it's been consistently low for two years. So this is how you can also go ahead and check and see if a product is a seasonal or not with the Helium 10 a Chrome extension. Uh, if you notice, there is a if you open up the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, right now the sales rank is uh, 134. And if you notice that uh, the Helium 10 uh, Chrome extension shows that the sales rank jumps up to you know 10,000 or 20,000, it stays consistently to 20,000, and then once in a while it jumps back down to 200. This means that this product is not a good product, so don't do it. So the Helium 10 Chrome extension is definitely. Uh, Another, another way you can see if the product is seasonal and it sells well all year long. I do get in depth with this in my Amazon FBA course. Again, the link is on the bottom of this video. I cover everything in depth so you can build a profitable Amazon FBA business. Now, this is basically it. Uh, this is how you can check uh, Google Trends and uh, see if our product is seasonal or not if it sells well all year long, 365 days out of the year. So this is basically it. If you guys like this video, I would really appreciate a big thumbs up and a subscription. This YouTube channel is all about Amazon FBA. Thank you for watching. Have a great one, everyone.